I'm kind of old. True. My life's kind of boring. Also true. But I'll film it anyway. No one asked for this. Hope you're ready for it, cause I'm blocking till Christmas Day. Oh my god, please never let me do that again. Hello everyone, welcome back to another Vlogmas number eight. It's getting up there, pretty crazy. I am, as per usual, running late. It is currently like just before 4 p.m. I need to leave in like 30 minutes. I'm getting ready for a really fun festive night with my friend Laura. We are going to a little like Christmas pop-up bar in downtown LA. And I've actually been wanting to go for like a few years now. I think we wanted to go when we lived here back in 2019 and they were like completely booked up. And so now that we moved back, we were gonna try to go with our friends, but they unfortunately had to work. So we just thought let's like make it a girl's night for me type of thing. So my friend Laura is gonna go with me and I'm so excited. We're like kind of getting dressed up tonight. So that'll be really fun. I'm going to start getting ready. And I thought I would do like a little get ready with me. Haven't done one of those in a long time. And I thought I would show you like every single thing I've been using lately. I was actually gonna do like a full out, you know, trying new products and trying new like, I got a beauty blender that I wanted to use and I just like don't have time. I need to do just my normal everyday routine. So you're of course gonna come along with me tonight as I get ready and then go on my fun little girls night. Girls night out. I actually haven't been downtown in like a minute. It's been probably, I don't know, like a couple months at least. And I don't go downtown a lot, but I thought it would be fun to take you along with me. So I started off with this rare beauty, what is this called? Pore diffusing primer. And I saw my friend Karina Gomez mention this. And so I bought it and it's great. Besides my like rosacea spot right here, I would say my biggest skin concern issue is my texture and like my pores. But I know there's really like not much you can do about that. And then for foundation tonight, I'm using the Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40 by Ilia. I actually mentioned that in a main channel video recently. And then I'm gonna do some concealer under my eyes. I actually went back to like an old school fave recently and this is the Maybelline Instant, what is it called? Instant Age Rewind. I'm gonna do a little bit of it as my eyeshadow primer as well. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of Tarte Shape Tape and like put it on my little rosacea spot. I have a better shade. I've got two of these. There we go. I'm gonna take a sip of water. I'm already like, <laughs> cause I'm running late. Mm. And I'm out of water, that's great. So I want all the wellness girlies to come for me, but I'm definitely filling up this water bottle with tap water from my bathroom sink. I don't know if that's gross. Sorry, desperate times call for desperate measures. So anyways, I can't believe that it's already the day that I'm filming this, the 13th of December, which is wild because number one, it's Taylor Swift's birthday, which is iconic. And number two, like Christmas is like, 12 days away. Like I blinked. I was, you know, getting a little bit of a head start on Vlogmas. I filmed like a few days early to prepare myself. And actually I'm so glad I did because that's what ended up saving my ass when I was sick. But now we're like in real time pretty much. And it's just going by so fast. Like we leave for Arizona in 10 days. That is absolutely nuts. Oh, um, my next product I will be using is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. I've actually been interested in trying out the, I think it's called the Kosas, Kosas setting powder. It's like cloud powder, I think it's called, but it's always sold out on Sephora. I'm not really much of a makeup girly. I just kind of like buy things that I see recommended or like truly, you know, vetted and tested, or I just like buy stuff from Ulta or the drugstore or whatever. So these are just kind of products that sort of work for my skin, but like, I don't know how um, amazing they are. They just kind of work for me. I'm the type of person who like, I mean this Age Rewind Maybelline concealer, I literally have been using off and on for 13 years at this point, I wanna say. It's an old tried and true favorite, but I'm just kind of trying to breeze through it because I don't really have time to like be lollygagging because I, as usual, waited too long. And it's not like I was doing nothing, I was, you know, editing the last Vlogmas. I jumped right from <laughs> filming one until like 9 p.m. last night, editing it until about 4 p.m. today, and now starting another one. <laughs> Vlogmas has been so fun this year though. I've just really taken a lot of the pressure off of myself and I've just been enjoying it. And I'm just so 
freaking grateful to do this for my job. I'm so grateful for all of you who allow me to do this for my job and support me and leave kind comments. And I could go on like a whole tangent, but I'm literally like living my dream life because of all of you. And I genuinely would hang out with every single one of you. Every time I have a question about something, I'm like, oh, I should ask. Like someone in the comments will know for sure. Like you guys are just the best and I adore you. I really wanted to be more glam tonight, but I just simply don't have the time. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I already forgot to say what I was using. I used the Fenty Beauty Bronzer. This is in the color Private Island. There she is. It's definitely almost gone, so that's great. And then I used the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the color Seduce. Love her. It's kind of like a sort of mauve color, which I thought would be good for winter. It's not technically winter yet, is it? I think that's not until like right before Christmas. And then I'm using the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter Duo. It's an afternoon snack and mo honey. This is such a pretty shade. I literally love this. So gorgeous. So I'm gonna slap some of that on. I love anything Rihanna, let's be honest. Um, she is the most majestic woman of all time and I love her. I thought about doing like a Q&A moment while I'm getting ready, but I wanna save that for something that I did last year where like basically I just like wrap presents and answer your questions. So that'll be like later on during vlogmas. So you're just gonna have me. We're just gonna chit chat about life. I actually, hold on, what am I doing next? I'm gonna do eyeshadow. I'm gonna do a very simple eyeshadow look tonight because I'm going to do a bold lip. So I'm gonna do like, mm, what color do I want? Let's do this one. Sure. Oh, sorry. I'm bad at this. This is the Anastasia Glam To Go Eyeshadow Pressed Pigment Palette. And it's got all these really pretty, kind of like mauve rosy, warm tones. And I really love it. So I'm gonna take this shade Dawn and work it in the crease. Although I need to set my lid a little bit better one moment. But yeah, I'm just trying to think like, I think just because of how fast paced this month has been going and honestly just this entire last six months since we moved here, which by the way, as of like the time you're watching this video, we will have lived here for six months. Like we've already been in this apartment for half a year. I don't understand how this happens. It goes by so freaking fast. Also this like kind of just me blabbing about random stuff in my life bores you. I completely understand. You can skip forward. <laughs> no offense taken, but in the last six months, I just haven't like had any time to slow down really. And I mentioned this in the vlog where I got sick, but this is like not a problem at all. This is just a difference in my life. But like when we were living in Arizona, I was doing something socially like a couple times a month. And now because I have so many more friends that live here, I'm doing stuff like every single week. And so I feel like I'm just burning out a lot faster and like work has been getting busier and just like a lot. So I'm really just spending all of my time trying to like, you know, stay on top of things and make sure I'm like replying to texts, but I'm doing a terrible job at it, just being honest. And I know a lot of us are feeling this way. It's obviously not just me, like, hello, we're all just going through it and we're all just trying to figure it out. And I don't know, those of you who have kids, I don't know how you do it, I really don't. I feel like it's enough just having pets and like senior pets. And it's sort of one thing I wanted to talk about was like a Layla and Moo update. Um, it's been a lot, like it's just so wild. I talked about this in vlogs before, but you know, growing up with Layla, I got her when I was 23, I'm 34 now and gonna be 35 here in like a few couple weeks. I didn't really think when I got a puppy at 23 that I would be 34, like still spending a thousand dollars every time I take it to the vet. And I don't wanna discourage anyone from like getting animals or anything, but it is just such, 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 such a commitment. And I would do it for her over and over and over again in a heartbeat, that's not even a question. It's just like, ooh, this might be fun. Sorry, I'm thinking it. But it's just been like, you know, she's always sort of had, I would I would say fair health um, most of her life. It's just kind of like genetic stuff and whatever. And now that she's, you know, getting older, she's just having a harder time with like her mobility. And then also she recently got like an eye infection. 
um, and she went on antibiotics for that and it's not doing anything and she had to get like new blood work done and all these different tests and there's like still the issue of her weight which has been an issue like her entire life and there's just like a lot going on your girl just has a lot going on your girl being Layla and we love her for it we absolutely love her to death and I'll do anything to get her like the care that she needs but it's just been kind of it's really hard for me to talk and focus on this at the same time I've noticed because I'm like genuinely trying to rush at the same time as I'm doing this. Anyways, I'm using this NYX brow pencil. This is like the micro one. And then I'm also going to use the Anastasia powder. It's like the brow powder duo in the color taupe. And then I'm also going to use this 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. Anyway, so yeah, we brought her to the vet like about 10 days ago. We have to bring her back again in a couple of days because her eye hasn't gotten any better. And then Moo has also had some stuff going on. Oh, that's the other thing. Layla also has liver issues. Um, and I've known that for uh, quite a few months now. And that was, and I won't bore you with this too long, but like an issue of hers when she got her teeth pulled a few months ago, the wrong teeth, of course. That's a whole other story for another day if you missed that. But um, before she got that surgery, she had to get blood work done. And then they noticed that her like liver levels were elevated and they still are. They went back down because she took this like medication, but now she has to be on that medication likely forever. And she's gonna have to see like a specialist and all this stuff. So yeah, it's just like a lot. And then Moo, bless his heart, he's 15 years old, which is crazy. Drew got him when he was 19 and now he's 34. And so it's just like, it's just crazy how we run an old folks home basically is what I'm getting at. <laughs> And we love them to death, but it's just like a lot. It's tough. So Mu likely has a form of abdominal cancer, um, but it has the same, it like shows the same signs as like a upper bowel disease or something like that. I'm wording it improperly. Those of you who have cats probably know better and like have gone through it. Or if those of you are like vets or vet techs or whatever, but basically he is also, he's been on cat chemo, like the equivalent of cat chemo for the last almost two years. Um, and then like his stomach issues have kind of gotten worse recently. So he had to go back for more blood work and further paneling and all this different kind of stuff. And now he's got to see someone else and it's just like a whole thing, but we love them. We will do anything for them and they're gonna be you know we're gonna give them the best rest of their lives possible so that's just been like an extra thing that's sort of been weighing on both of us it's becoming a lot more difficult for both of our animals like they've started showing signs of like aging and dementia and all these different things so for those of you who have seen your pets during this time oh my god is this like a vent session i'm really not complaining i'm in a great mood i love my life i don't want it to come across as that um just catching up i guess same way I would with like a friend if we were like getting ready together or going out to get drinks or, or whatever. Okay, I'm now gonna put on some Stila eyeliner. This is another one that I've used for probably 10 years. This is the Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I use this in black. I'm pretty much almost done because all I have to do after this is just put on some lipstick and then like do a setting spray, which I will do. I forgot to put on my brow gel, so I'll do that really quick. There's absolutely no way I'm going to be able to do my eyeliner while talking to you on camera. So let me regroup. Be with you in a sec. You guys, I don't know what's going on, but I literally just switched my part to like a side part. And my bangs just like did this. And I don't even think I'm going to curl my hair anymore. Like I genuinely think it looks so cute. And I like tucked one side. I mean, I could do it like this too, but... I mean, kind of cute. I think I'm just gonna keep it. So I'm gonna unplug my curling iron, or unless I want to do like a like a curled under moment, I might do that. Like a little. God, I'm scared I'm gonna ruin it. I don't want to ruin what's happening. No, I don't want to mess with it too much. I do just like want to smooth it out a little bit because I did blow dry my hair earlier, but like I've since taken a nap and like all of that. So okay, let's just. Give it a little bend, and just smooth out these kind of rougher pieces. I am not touching the bangs. They look really freaking good. Oh my God, like it looks kind of good. My only concern is I don't have any hairspray. So I'm like, how am I gonna make this last? Like make this stay? Anyways, I was like gonna talk about this when I curled my hair, but 
I have just been thinking a lot about this time of year and how it can be really difficult for a lot of people. And I was literally like just in that position not too long ago. By the way, I'm gonna use this um, Tower 28 Fill Me In lip liner. The shade is called Filled Me In. But I was just thinking back about how just a few years ago, like literally five, six years, six years ago actually, I was in like probably the worst place I've ever been in my life. Without going like too much into detail, I spent Christmas alone. One of my family members was in rehab. I had just gone through, well, earlier that year, I had just gone through like the most painful heartbreak of my life. I had gone through a breakup. I am you know, broken up with my boyfriend of a year and a half and then I had gotten really quickly involved in like a rebound situation and then that guy ghosted me like really, really suddenly and out of nowhere after like, it was like a, you know, a relationship type of thing. And so that was really traumatic and awful and there was just like a lot of family stuff going on and it was for sure the worst year of my life. And I remember, this is like really genuinely sad. I remember singing like this cover of the song River by Joni Mitchell. It's coming on Christmas, they're cutting down trees, putting up rain, you're singing songs of joy and peace. Oh, I wish I had a river I could skate away on. And I was genuinely so heartbroken. I can hear it in my voice. And I think I was just like trying to reach out for like connection with anyone. And maybe that was my way of being like, I'm not doing well. And Drew and I like were in this sort of awkward, like we were, but we weren't. And like he invited me, I went to Christmas Eve with his family, which was so sweet and wonderful. But hold on, I'm going to do a few up here because this is just a bit awkward angle. And I had a friend um, who came over for Christmas morning or like late Christmas Eve into Christmas morning. And you know, we at least like went on a hike and stuff, but then like the evening rolled around and I was by myself and I was crying and like I was so sad. And I genuinely remembered thinking like, how did I get here? Like, how did it get to this point? Like, I'm, I'm so sad, I'm so lonely. I had no money. I was living at my mom's house. I was like 30, about to turn 30 years old, or I guess I was turning 29. I had no money. I was living with my mom in her apartment. I was all by myself. I had nothing to my name. I was like in so much debt. I just had like so many things going on that like I guess I don't really talk about a lot. I probably used to on my channels, but I'm just trying to be a little bit more uh, private with that kind of stuff lately. But like all that to say, I had no hope. Like I felt so low and so awful. And I just remember thinking like, this is not Christmas. Like this is not how I wanted my life to turn out. Like I feel like just one blow after the other kept happening. Like I just kept getting knocked on my ass. My mental health was in the pits. And like to see where I am now, just, you know, five, six years later is truly wonderful and amazing and it makes me want to cry thinking about it and I have such a wonderful life that's so fulfilling and I'm so happy in love and I'm so happy in friendship and I'm so happy with myself and I've just really really come a long way and I've healed so much over the last few years so I guess I just wanted to say that if you are in a similar situation and you're just feeling like so lost and you don't really know where your life is going and you don't really feel like the holidays are the holidays this year and it feels actually a little bit more depressing than anything. I just want you to know that things will get better for you. They will. It's not going to stay like this forever. And I don't know, I just felt like it was on my heart that like maybe somebody needed to hear that. So if you did, that is for you. And you're doing amazing. You're doing amazing and you're doing the best you can with what you've been given. That message is also to younger me when I was going through that a few years ago and to all of you now. Like I am just sending you so much love and things will turn around for you. I promise you that. Okay. Let me get dressed really quick and I'll show you what outfit I've got on and then we've got a head. Drew's gonna actually take me to my friend's house and then we're gonna Uber from her place. So let's do it. Also, sorry for getting like so deep and intense. I just love all of you. And I don't know, maybe I just felt like trauma dumping a little bit. <laughs> okay, we've got, I we have a lot to catch up on, but essentially I did curl my hair. It started like doing very wonky things. And so I just felt more comfortable with it curled. I put on a red lip, it's NARS Dragon Girl. I have this thrifted dress and this thrifted jacket, very Matrix. And then my cowboy boots are actually at Laura's. So we're gonna head in the car, go to her house. I'm gonna put on my cowboy boots. 
we're gonna hit the town. Let's do it. <gasps> it's snowing! <gasps> Yay! Did you get food for Oh my god, wait, this would be kind of cute. Would yeah, that be kind of yeah. Look at the show. <laughs> Probably. Hello, ladies. Hi, how are you? It looks like it's snowing and I'm so happy. We made it to the Christmas bar and first of all, we were just saying it looks like sort of like what you would imagine like a lifetime movie small town bar or like a like a Netflix Christmas movie when they go into like the little bar. Like she run, like she runs into her high school friends here. Yes. Like yes. She's bartending and she's like, oh my god. Oh my god, that's so insane. Yeah. The love of my life from 15 years ago. Yes. Like that's the vibe that it's giving. So we ordered a couple cocktails. It took us an hour <laughs> and 15 minutes but to get miles? 10 miles. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where we're at. But we ordered a couple drinks. She ordered one called You'll Shoot Your Rio. And I ordered one called The Happiest Christmas Tree. Ho, 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 and a hee, hee, hee. Literally, look at this bar. How could you be in a bad mood here? Like, look at how jolly this is. I love it. Here's my happiest Christmas tree. And look, aren't you joking? Look at her. I like, I kind of want to turn it to you, but Twist I'm also it, Try Laura's. You'll shoot your rye out. This looks so good. We got some pigs in a blanket and some buffalo ranch popcorn. Yes, please. Oh my god, we got a baked brie that has a fig jam in it. And then these little like cross peenies on the side. Yeah, more bread. So good. These people right here are doing a shot ski, and I want to watch it. And they're wearing a two-person sweater. This is the most festive, fun place I've maybe ever been. I'm having so much fun. We definitely were saying that this place would improve greatly if there was Christmas karaoke. Just saying. But honestly, if you live in LA or near LA and you want to check out like a cute Christmas bar and there are reservations available, because I think it's reservations only, definitely recommend coming here. It's so cute. Fun little surprise. Our server goes, would you, what did he say? Would you be remiss? Or how do you say it? He said, would you be opposed to me sending you guys a shot? And Laura goes, I wouldn't be unopposed. <laughs> so we got this really cool little glass, and it's like a liqueur that's from the Czech Republic. Right? Yeah, it is. Should we cheers it? Mount Wash. Ready? Ready, go. Ooh, down the hatch. She is it good? It. Ooh. It's like, it's like, like citrusy almost. Oh. Sound like all of our teachers. <laughs> well, when we're on the uh, well, when yeah. we're in the cars right at Disneyland and Larry the Cable Guy comes on, <laughs> Drew's like, "Does it sound like home?" I'm like, "Yeah, it sounds like all my teachers." Like, home? Like that? Is? Granddad, is that you? <laughs> this is so cute. We literally loved it so much, and now we're on to the next. Okay, everybody, it's kind of late. I just got home. 
I had such a fun night tonight. We actually, after the Christmas bar, we ended up going to another place and we played bingo. I won twice. That was really fun. And that's my night. I am going to melt all of my makeup off and go to bed. And we actually have a really fun night planned for tomorrow. We're doing like another fun festive thing tomorrow. So that's gonna be a great time. Thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. Ooh. I've just been catching up with Drew. I'm going to go to bed. I appreciate you being here so, so much. Okay, so this is where I'm at. I will leave you with this. Um, hopefully you don't have too many nightmares. We'll see you tomorrow for vlogmas number nine. <laughs> Goodbye.